Jam program, Alamo Jazz All-Stars, uh, it's kind of over an entire year. Um, the, in the fall, students prepare for an audition, which they have an outside panel of judges. The outside panel picks a combo of five people, which form a, a quintet. Um, and in the spring, that quintet uh, is mentored by jazz stars that come to the area. But it's not a class. It hasn't been a class. We're actually thinking of making it more into a class in the springtime. In the fall, in November, they, they hold an audition at the Almost Pharmacy during their regular Monday night jam. Uh, you come there, you audition, and there are judges. They pick five people, and those five people are in a quintet. It's an amazing opportunity because they're having one-on-ones with great jazz musicians like Jerry Allen, the pianist Jerry Allen, like David Liebman, who is the artistic director of the International Association of Schools for Jazz and kind of the artistic uh, leader of our program because we feed into this IASJ uh, international group, like uh, Lionel Luecki from uh, West Africa, who came in and did a one-on-one a one -on -one with them, uh, like uh, Nicholas Payton, uh, like you know all of the people that have been mentoring them. My favorite part of the program is watching the development of these students. They come in, and most of them have come from big band programs, like the one I have uh, at Northwest Vista College. They've really had no experience improvising at all. They've had practically no experience with small group playing, the kind of interaction that happens. So I love watching them develop, watching them grow into real uh, musicians. And it's, it's a slow process, which you gotta love, but it's very, very gratifying. And then to see the joy when the world is opened in the way that it is when you go to the annual meeting. Real eye-opener to how much I didn't know since I guess what I have you can say you could call it raw talent. I have a lot of studying to do. Just uh, playing with a bunch of different people, artists. When we play at the jam at the pharmacy, you're playing with people that actually write music for the first time. You're, you're playing it with them and it's just really fun. It's, it's a, lot of, it's a lot of fun in this program. I really like it. The program is it's a mentorship program where we hook up with some like really awesome jazz musicians. You know, like really, really professional. Been playing for 25 years, you know, just jazz. And, but my favorite part, honestly, was playing with the, the band, interacting with the band. I mean, that's it, you know, because the jazz music, the, the, these all, uh, the, the masters, they show up for like an hour and then it's over. They're gone. You know, and, and you're like, okay, cool, you know, I'll, I'll take these notes. But ultimately, it's like the group interaction that's the, the best part. Watching Lionel do okay, like, he would, uh, he would talk about things like I didn't even really think about, how you could squeeze certain, you don't have to always just stick in a 4-4, you can squeeze a little 6-8 in. He was like, I'm not the drummer, but I will show you this. And he was banging it out on the drums, you know, and, like, he was, he was really good. And then, um... Jerry Allen, when she, when we were at Trinity University, she got a bunch of little kids to improvise, and like, I'm 22 years old, and like, you know, all the other guys, they're all grown up, and we, we were all, somehow Jerry Allen got us to sound pretty good, you know, but like, it was just a mixture of people, and uh, that was my favorite part, how Jerry Allen could bring, you know, some little six-year-old kid with a cello, you know, to play something on, like, with me, I, I thought that was pretty cool. Well, I really, I get along really well with all the guys in the band. We have a really good chemistry. I enjoy that. As far as the program goes, I think I like the most that we get to work with all these jazz artists. I'm pretty new to jazz, so getting input from all of these artists that have been doing it for years is, is really helpful. I would definitely recommend the program for the learning experience and the overall experience. I mean, I learned a lot. I learned to improvise. I had a blast with Catchy. It was an awesome experience, and the program takes you to places where music is also greatly appreciated, and you just see other cultures' appreciation for music overall, and it's, it's, a learn, it's an eye-opener. Uh, it is definitely a uh, learning experience for all those who uh, are taking music as a degree plan. 
definitely something to experience. It really broadens your uh, thinking on music, how to play things, different ways of playing things. It, it's awfully challenging as well because uh, the master classes that you take make you think in different ways, try to help you play that music in, in a new way that you've never really thought of before. The thing about working in jazz is that you learn to trust yourself a lot. You learn to trust yourself as a musician. You have to work hard on these pieces, especially for me as a vocalist. I have to know when I'm standing in front of those guys that we're we're all together, that we all trust each other. You learn you learn that kind of stuff in programs like this where you're just working small with a small group of people instead of in a classroom setting where there's maybe 15 or 20 people that are all trying to learn the same stuff. But here we have our certain set of songs, we work on those songs, we have input between each other and then we get to have input from all of these other people that put this program together. about jazz is it's a language which is spoken all over the world. It's one of America's, uh, I think Phil Woods called it Ameri African America's great gift to the world. And it is amazing. I mean, you can be anywhere and find a common tongue in jazz. So it is amazingly multicultural. Um, and our program is multicultural as well and also intercollegiate it's just it's a language that can be spoken anywhere once you learn it and there's so many ways you can deal with it to make it different incorporate local things but still there's this common common improvisational language and it's it's one of the most multicultural international global experiences you can have in in music it's an opportunity to grow as a musician um, and as a person. No, no, uh, but no, as, definitely as a musician. And you know, you, you do, uh, I'll downplay it, but you really do get to work with some really phenomenal jazz guys, jazz cats. And, and these people, you know, they, they listen to what you do and they're like, okay, cool. Let's let's let, let's let's try it seriously now, you know, as if you were joking, <laughs> you know, and uh, which is good because you need that. You need someone to push you. And, and, and this mentorship program definitely pushes you to be better than you thought you could be. The master classes were pretty intense. I mean, um, some, some of these guys, uh, no, all of these guys know exactly what they're doing. I mean, they've been doing this for years. Um, they can hear a note and tell you it's wrong. I mean, they'll, they'll tell you what you need to work on. Um, I forget what his name was. Um, he's actually one of the teachers at SAC. That's a, no, no, not SAC, uh, Palo Alto. And he told me straight up, it's like, yeah, you, you don't have confidence. You, you, you know, your bass playing, because at the time I was really shy. I'm like, I can't do this. And he's like, you just need to, you just need to like step up and, you know, participate, you know. And oh, so many words, he said that, you know. So uh, I really took that to heart. And so now I play like, like I'm a rock, like I'm a rock. Well, I can't say God, but uh, a rock idol. When I, I play bass, I'm like, okay. If y'all are gonna sit down and watch me, I might as well make it worth your while, you know? I mean, yeah, the music should be good, but, you know, it's a show, so, you know, I'm gonna dance a little bit.
it was beautiful. I mean, it, like I said, was just a total shock. Me trying to get over how talented all the other people were is what really stunned me and really just was a reality slap in my face. But overall, the experience was nice. The people that I met were awesome, and I'm still friends with them to this day. I'm friends with them on Facebook, and we talk. I would have never gotten that, that chance had I not gone. So I'm extremely grateful for it. I think it's a really good program if you want to just expand your musical horizons. You have to learn how to trust yourself. That was a really hard thing for me to do. I've been a musician all my life, but I've only been in school for the last couple of years. So Even though I've always trusted in my ability to just sing, to do it the way that you have to do it in jazz is a different, it's a totally different thing. You know, I just, I'm really working on tunes because I've been listening to David Lehman since I was like this big. You know, I've, I heard him all through when he played with Schofield and uh, Miles Davis and you know he, now he does classical works of like Puccini and stuff like that and he's I, I mean I, I have his book you know the the, the uh, chromatic approach to harmony that he wrote and then I have I have his Abersolds I, I had my case here but I tell you but yeah I, I have all his Abersolds and man he's a, he's a genius I'm nervous I mean I'm bugging out you know if anybody's interested in the program, definitely do it. I mean, don't underestimate yourself and don't think too hard about it because I know I did it. I, I auditioned not thinking that I would get it, and I got it. So um, if, you're, if you're interested, do it. Do it. You have nothing to lose and everything to gain. So I would encourage any student of the Alamo Colleges to get involved with the program. They can contact me. Um, they can email me, they can call me in my office, and I will help them. They also can look at our blog, because uh, we have a wonderful blog with a lot of information on it. Prepare and get involved. It's, don't assume that you're not good enough, because you know, nobody's good enough at first. It's, it's a process, and it's wonderful, and it's open to you, students.